This is the plaintiff, Donna Mercado. She says she told the defendant's waitress at a restaurant he owns that she's allergic to peppers, and guess what? She was served a dish with peppers. She went through anaphylactic shock, and the waitress and the defendant accused her of faking it in order to get out of paying the bill. She was even forced to pay before leaving to go to the hospital. How outrageous! She's suing for $1,853.29 for her hospital bill and the dinner she was forced to pay for. This is the defendant, Ralph Real. He says he's been in the restaurant business for 28 years, and he's sorry. But there was a misunderstanding that night. He admits there was a green pepper in the dish she ordered. He paid her for the two EpiPens she used, took her meal off the bill, but that's all he's willing to do, since the plaintiff blasted them on social media and called the health department on them. He's accused of not respecting a customer's dietary needs. All parties, please raise your right hand. See you come to ordinance. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. Okay, Ms. Mercado, you are suing Mr. Reale's restaurant. You've asked us not to mention the name of the restaurant. We will respect that. For $1,853.29 in hospital bills and a refund of a dinner bill because you got um, food served to you that you had explained to them you were allergic to. What happened here? We went to dinner, my son and three of his friends, to celebrate one of his friends' birthday. And I, I'm a widow. I have a young son. So I tell them, clearly, I am deathly allergic to peppers. How old is your, your young son? He's 17. OK. Um, but I'm his only parent, so I make sure that I tell them religiously. Well, you should take care of yourself anyway, but if you didn't <laughs> have do, a 17-year-old son. I'm so right. yeah. cautious about. I make sure. What are you allergic I, to? Peppers. Any kind of peppers. Red or green, doesn't matter. How did you first find out you were allergic? To? I had an asthma attack and I went into How shock. How old are you? Eighteen. Eighteen. Yes. And had you eaten peppers before that? Yes, I'm Italian, so I, you grew I, up on those. I know. I, I have. I, I feel so bad for you because because so, um, they're yummy. They're delicious, and it, they're in everything. Exactly. I don't even so, know how you go out to dinner. It's very difficult, I have to be honest. Yeah. And I told the waitress, she was very nice. She went in and asked the chef if what I was ordering would have peppers. She came back, she said no. So they served me my food. What, what is it that you ordered? I ordered a fried fish dish, and it had one um, clam with breading on it. And I took a bite of the clam, and there was a red pepper. As soon as it hits my tongue, my throat starts to close, and I go into shock. The night manager, Nancy, came over, and she said to me, well, the chef told me there's no peppers. Are you trying to get out of the meal? I'm like, we didn't even eat, number one, and it's like $150, so no. I, she made me go through the clam and put them in her hand to show her that there were red peppers in there. Okay, we're not talking about crushed red pepper. We're talking about actual pieces, red pepper. Yeah. Pieces. Uh -huh. And I dug them out for her, and I put them in her left hand, and she's like, oh, well, the chef is sorry. He made a mistake. Wait, um, did she go back and talk to the chef? How did yes, she know the chef she was sorry? she came back. In okay. the meantime, my son went and got my EpiPen, gave me my injection, and she was waiting at the hallway to go out with the bill in that, you know, the folder that they use. Had you eaten by then? I only took one bite. No, I had, had they had eaten? It, I'm sorry, no. the other people at your table. No, they, Did they took end like up one bite. None of us okay, really Okay, wait, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. I know you're not going to eat anymore because you No, and they stopped eating, and they ran to the car to get my EpiPen because I left it in the car. Did they come back? Yes, and he, I had my injection. Okay. And you have to go to the hospital 20 minutes after. And I was walking out, and Nancy was standing there with the thing, and she's like, um, you need to pay your bill. I said, are you serious? And were you walking out with all the boys? Yeah. OK. And she says, I said, are you serious? She's like, yeah. She goes, what do you want? I took your meal off. I go, the kids didn't even get to eat. We ruined his birthday dinner. And now I'm on the way to the hospital. So I paid the bill, and I went to the hospital. And I was there until the, the middle of the morning. Um, they had to give me another EpiPen, uh, steroids. I had a rash all over my back, trouble breathing. OK, let me hear from you, sir. So I was cooking that night, so the waitress server came in the back and she said, is there any red pepper in the dinner she's ordering? I said no, so I interpret that as she didn't like spicy food. 
She mentioned it was an allergy. She never mentioned all peppers in general because we, you know. Yeah, she actually said red pepper. The, she the said red pepper. Irony is there is red pepper in the clam, right? Well, there is green peppers in the clam. Green peppers. Green peppers in okay. the clam. So, you know, you know, we have um, an allergy policy at the restaurant. They're all trained on. You know, we had, you know, the health department came down to inspect. Did your waitress actually say red? Are there red peppers, or did she say are there peppers? Red peppers. Um, did you say red peppers to her? Or did you say peppers? I said red and green, okay. and there was red peppers because I handed her the okay. red ones. Okay. Um, I'm going to bet that the person with the allergy doesn't make a mistake, right? Like that's kind of, so it sounds like maybe this was a, a mistake in communication. Possible. Um, either you didn't understand the waitress or the waitress didn't understand her, but like if somebody's likely to get it right, it's going to be the person who walks around an inch from death with an EpiPen. Um, have you ever, do you have friends who have allergies? Have you ever? Yes, yes, I'm very right. aware. Have you ever gone out to dinner with somebody with an allergy? Yeah, I have. To yeah, carry it's an like EpiPen 15 well. minutes yeah. of your life you'll never get back. Yes. Where <laughs> they are very explicit. I have a friend who's allergic to onion and garlic. You think your life is difficult? She's allergic to onion and garlic, <laughs> right? So she literally, she will say, I'm a, is there onion and garlic in there? I go, no. Nah. And, and I, I will interject with all the hyperbole I can muster. You don't seem to understand. Let me, let me make sure you are picking up what she is putting down. If there is any onion and garlic in this, we will end up in the hospital. I need you to turn around, go talk to your chef, and find out if there's onion and garlic in it. She cannot have, I say that every time because I don't want to be there when she has to go to the hospital because I don't think people take this seriously enough. You know, they, I just, I worry about that. And I just assume everybody's gonna mess it up. Like, everybody messes up everything all the time. That's like, I live with, under the theory that just because you're paranoid, it doesn't mean they're not out to get you. <laughs> things will happen anyway. Um, and this is one of those things that happened. She actually went to the hospital. You know that's not made up, right? I do, yes. Okay. Can I see your hospital bill? Sure. Now, you ended up comping her meal. That was great. And, <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and you also paid for two EpiPens, yes. right? On what theory would you, she should she have to be out eighteen or um, seventeen hundred dollars on the hospital? That he paid me with the well, we just felt that if she would have stated um, all peppers, you know, we would have. Oh wait, I'm sorry, but you hold on one second. Did you state all peppers? I yeah, and you're not there, and somebody conveys right. it to you, and you don't bring that somebody. You're not going to win on that. Um, so if your premise is, I should win because she didn't say all peppers, you better have the person she spoke to to contradict her testimony. Because you and I both know, if you have had any friends who are allergic to something, they're never the one who makes the mistake. Yeah. They know why they might need an EpiPen and go into anaphylactic shock. They're careful. Welcome back to the People's Court, Harvey Levin here. So if you go to a restaurant and you say, no peppers, and they, by accident or whatever, they put them in, you go into, say, shock, and they have, you have to go to the hospital. Do they have to pay your hospital bills? Absolutely. It's the fault of the restaurant for putting them anywhere near your plate if you're allergic to them. When you say no peppers, do they automatically, should they be thinking allergy or you could go, you have got a met? Probably the waiter should have asked, do you have allergies to peppers? Or the customer should have said, I have allergies to peppers. If the, if the customer just says no peppers, right. is no. that enough no. that if they screw it up? No, I think they have to ask more questions because that's a sign. That's a definite sign. There's but, a uh, but but does the cus is it the customer's responsibility? Absolutely. If the customer has life and death issues on peppers, they have to raise it. Absolutely. Okay, going inside the courtroom. So you can't prove that she didn't say all peppers. You can only tell me I misunderstood my waitress or my waitress misunderstood her. Yeah, I mean our whole case at the restaurant when we were doing some background was the red pepper lady. I mean that's how we knew it as. I never knew it was all. No, it's kind of condescending to somebody who ended up in the hospital. That doesn't help your case. Now, he fought the refund of the dinner as to the other people. Yes. Because they don't have an allergy. Now, and your answer to that is nobody ate their meal. We took three bites and left to the hospital because you have to go Correct. to the hospital. Did they take their meals with them? No. Why not? They were worried about me. They weren't worried about eating. Well, they weren't so worried that they didn't have a few bites. They had a bite before I ate the pepper, and then they stopped. So everybody stopped once this happened? Yes, correct. Why would the manager have had the time to 
create the bill and stand there and say you got to pay the bill. Like that takes some time. It's not like you all ran out as soon as this happened. They went to the car to get my EpiPen in the meantime. Oh. Okay. And so, then did you shoot the where did you shoot the EpiPen? In my bag. Okay, so what's it? It goes right through the clothes. Yeah. I have I have a daughter who had a uh, boyfriend with a peanut allergy, and she had to learn how to use an EpiPen. And I was like, you need to get another girlfriend because she is gonna <laughs> panic, but good when this moment comes. She is not gonna shove that thing into your thigh. Um, so, uh, what have you done since you were since you were 18? You've been using an EpiPen. As far back, I very careful that I never right. use them or eat them. How many them times have you had to go to? With the EpiPen? Twice, two restaurants. That's it. I don't, I don't know how you go out to dinner. I, I, I would just assume people are going to botch it and not go out to dinner. I try. I, uh, <sighs> you know. I'm going to order the defendant's company to compensate the plaintiff for her hospital bill. There's no reason why she should be out that money. And by the way, it was much more than that. The insurance paid the rest of it. You're only suing for what you're out of pocket. Correct. Right. And uh, I'm also going to order a refund of the dinner that was ruined um, it's a clo that one's a close one. I, I don't. I, I understand why you fought that, but I would need some testimony that they enjoyed their meal and they ate it and everybody was relaxed, which I don't think happens when there's someone yanking an epi, you know, shoving an epipen into their thigh and she's got to go to the hospital. I just don't see how that would have happened. So I'm going to order one thousand eight hundred and fifty-three dollars and twenty-nine cents. Verdict for the plaintiff. Good luck, folks. Thank you. So the plaintiff gets everything she's seeking, including the full cost of the dinner. What do you think, Mr. Real? Um, I'm glad it went that way. It's fine. You're you know. happy, to, but you fought it. <clears throat> yeah, we fought it. You know, we, we felt that um, it was a misunderstanding, but, you know, she did have some, um, some trouble there. So I'm glad um, justice was served. Well, you could have prevented all this, you know, had you acted the same way. Yep. Unfortunately, you didn't. So you have to pay up. Right. Thank you very much, sir. Okay. Thanks. I assume you'll keep your eyes open for things like this in the future, right? You have to. Yeah, no question about it. Thank you. You've learned a lesson. And you, golly, geez, you know, this is a tough deal you have to live with. Yes. So most of the time the restaurants are okay. I mean, they, they listen to you. Yes, because I tell them I'll die. And they're very... <laughs> <laughs> and I will if I don't get treated. I mean, that scares them, doesn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, you walk in, sit down, and say hi. I want this. If, if and I tell them no red or green peppers. You have to make sure I could die. And no, no, no. Okay. Well, good for you. All right. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Glad you're getting your money back. Harvey. I mean, the bottom line here is this is a foreseeable consequence of breaching the contract in the restaurant by serving peppers. And that will do it for this case, litigants. For the next case on the way into the courtroom, right now.